um, show up, but even as I wrap it up, I want to play you a video of a young girl who's talking about this BBI. And when you listen to her, then you get the sentiment of Kenyans out there. Politicians, we hear you, but allow us to read this document. 47 million Kenyans out there, not even quarter have seen or read this document. So before we start having a conversation about whether or not we want a referendum, or whether or not we want this to go through Parliament, you need to allow Kenyans to read the document. And for a good number of you, it would be even important for you to ensure that your people get this document. Facilitate your people to have this document and talk about it. Look at the issues in it before we start deciding, do we want this or do we want this? Let's listen to that little girl. I mean, that young lady who was talking about the BBI. And on that note, allow me to say a very big thank you to Pamela Odiambo, who's the Migori woman representative, who's, who was speaking to us from our INDM studio, and Ali Swahomi as well, member of parliament, Kandara, who spoke to Sophia Wanuna. Let's listen to that young lady. Then perhaps it will put some sense into leaders in this country. Yes. Last week, when you launched a BBI, it happened on Wednesday. To liambiwa e document, chonapewa to some, to elewe, to peane maoni, ibadilishwe before implementation. Wiki hijaisha. Leaders wa shanza ku argue whether to go parliamentary system or referendum way. Wapi maoni ya mwananchi? Hakuna mwana, mwananchi mwenye amepea na maoni yake for rectification ya BBI report bado. Hakuna leader mwenye amejitokeza, akasema sema, eh, na juawa wase hawana civic education, let me try to explain what the BBI report is all about. Kwa BBI report, hakuna mahali inaketa to the women who work so hard every day to make a living and feed their children no bbi report imekuwa structured ku benefit leaders wase wenye wanafa ku benefit from your report washaanza ku argue about report yenyewe nika wenyewe hata wa understand your report what's the point of wa kenya ku support your report manze hii mchezo yenye tunachezewa imetosha tunafa kukumbuka article 1 of the constitution ina tupea sovereign power na supremacy in this country kenyans we have the power as the people do not think i'm just talking to the youth who are unemployed ama wase wanasafa uku kwa ghetto na slums z i am talking to all kenyans it does not matter where you live it does not matter where you come from it does not matter what you do for a living it does not matter how expensive your clothes are right now kama mtu I am talking to you. Kama uko wared mtoi wako anenda shule January na ujima li school fees itatoka. I am talking to you. Kama biashara yako haijakuwa ikithrive for the past few months. I am talking to you. Kama umeweka gari parking kwa sababu huwezi afford fuel. I am talking to you. Kama haujanunua kia tumpia in the past two weeks. I am talking to you. Sisi wote tuna feel pinch ya hii economy na economy inatumada. Countries zingine sahi wana discuss how to improve trade in their countries, how to improve their technological systems. Kenya tuna fight ya nini? Po positions of political leaders, PM position and what not. Ina tusaidi aje ku improve our economy surely. BBI report haija mention anything of how wewe kama mkenya utapeleka mtoi wako shule next year bila kuori utaeka food kwa meza yako bila kuori manze it's time it's time that we stopped entertaining this nonsense we have been oppressed kwa sababu we allow these people to oppress us we have the power to say no we are the ones who put them in these positions and we have the power to take them out of these positions man it's time to take them out of this position article 1 part 2 of the constitution in a two-pair option ya ku either exercise Exercise our sovereign power directly ama through our representatives. Our representatives how to represent. Akuna leader mwenye ana represent sauti ya mkenya sai. Wote wana represent their selfish gains. And it's time to exercise our power directly. It's time for us to take back this power. It's time for us to do something about it. And if you're not mad enough, I don't know what's wrong with you, man. I don't know what's wrong with you. In a take effort ya kila mse in order to bring change. I might talk and scream and shout for as long as I want to, but as long as niko peke yangu manze akuna change itakam it's important for us to understand that yes tuko very diverse but then there is unity in our diversity and unity is strength
it's time for us as Kenyans to unite. Let's all come together. One voice is not enough, but 44 million voices are more than enough. They're not going to kill all of us. And if they want to kill all of us, let them kill all of us. Whom will they govern then? It's better for us to die fighting than to live on our knees. If you're looking at your child right now and you cannot give your child a sweet because you are unable to kwa sababu kesho utakosa fair ya kwenda job, stand up.